Hello and good morning everybody. It's me Charlie here at Go Theme Park. Today I'm here at Chessington World of Adventure. Once again, all weekend I've had delays. <laughs> been on the M25 car park, been stuck going super slow over the bridge from Essex. And now we are here at Chessington in a big queue. You wanna know how big the queue is? It's about this big, look. It goes right the way up there, comes all the way back down there, and then we can get the temperature checked and going. So I'll probably see you in about 45 minutes when I get in there. I'll catch you soon. Okie dokie, progress report. We can now see the entrance. This is 55 minutes later, onward from the last, uh, you know, little statement that I made when we got here, from my little intro, you know, and uh, we're making his way along here now. We're, we're nearly to the end, please, this bit's moving along, we're in the little cattle pen bit. Got to get just over to there. There we go, it's temperature check, bag check, everything, get in there. And then we can start as day. So hopefully it'll not be too much longer and I'll catch up with you when we get in the park. Okie dokie, we have finally made it into the park after just over an hour. Dragon's Fury is here. 80 minute queue. Vampire's already on 60, this is on 80. Some things are closed. Yeah, let's get in this queue for Dragon's Fury. So we are here today at Chessington World of Queuing. Not the world of adventure, it's just the world of queuing today. So, <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire, what do you expect? I'm obviously going to make jokes about it, aren't I? I do, everywhere I go, you know this. You should be used to it by now. Right. Again, this queue. Hour and 20 minutes. Get ourselves a ride on Dragon's Fury. I do like these little spinning coasters. But actually, I could use a staff member first, because I could use asking a weird question. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. I might chat to you in queue, it's going to be a long time. I'll probably come up with something, you know. So I will catch you in a little bit. So, while well, I'm here, in the queue for Dragon's Fury, let's have a little chat about Chessington. Now, I was talking to my mate Sam earlier, you remember Coaster Sam from at Fling Flamingo Land the other week? He's in the POV from Cliffhanger, it's dead funny, he's in the background like, oh, when's he gonna drop? Classic, right. Now, this is his second favourite park in the country. And I think that's because C is from down this end and he's from down south. So, he came here when he were a kid, so this is like a nostalgic place for him. Obviously, me being from up north, I never came here as a kid. So, it's not a nostalgic place for me. It's a place that always seems really busy. But what's even weirder is, most of the parks I used to go to when I were a kid, all gone. American Adventure, gone. Camelot, gone. Just gone. Pleasure Island, gone. Flamingo Land's still there. It's good Blackpool now and again as a kid, but, you know, most of the parks from when I was a kid, all gone. Which is a shame. It was kind of nice for a week. Went to, um, not even of a week, a couple of days ago, weren't it? I went to Pleasurewood Hills and they've got Wipeout there, which is the Vacoma Boomerang that used to be at American Adventure. It used to be the Missile, so I got to have, you know, a little nostalgic ride on that. And uh, last year I went to Poland and I went to Legendia and I got to have a ride on the uh, Twin Looper that used to be there as well. So, you know, I've managed to go and get the two, co two like, main coasters that used to be at American Adventure. But yeah. Like, Chessington's okay, but like I, said, I don't think I have the same level of, of attachment to it that somebody from down this end of the country does who came here when they were younger, you know. 
And also, a lot of people tell me that this place used to be really awesome in the 90s, like when they and like when they had the bubble works and stuff, you know. And I never saw that. So, not really something I can comment on. But anyway, guys, I think we've had a nice little unpack there as to me feelings about Chessington. So, uh, I will catch up with you probably when we get off this ride. Oh, finally made it. We are right at the front of the queue for Dragon's Fury. Should we have a quick look how long it's been? You want to say hello? What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> say, well, let's say you'll say hello. Uh, it has been, yeah, about 80 minutes, so fairly accurate with the queue predictions. <laughs> But yeah, we'll get a ride on this, put a few shots in for you when I can get round the other side and get some, and uh, I'll catch up with you when I get off. Okie dokie guys, I uh, had my ride on Dragon's Fury there, had a walk round it, got some footage, I'll stick that in for you. I've had a walk down to Vampire now because Vampire's on long queue, it's just going around up there. 75 minutes currently, I can see the entrance from here. I was feeling a bit hungry, just got myself a burger. I thought I'd mix it up a bit, go for a burger today. Cheeseburger, bit of ketchup, you know. Decent burger there. I finish this off. We'll get down there to Vampire. And we'll get a ride on that. Oh yeah. Dragon's Fury earlier, yeah. Go around that. Good ride, I like Dragon's Fury. Yeah, it's longer than Spinball Wizard. I like them little Maurer spinners. I think one of my favourite ones them is possibly at Fantasia Land. They have Wind Jazz Fear and Force and they have them trick track bits. You know, that's cool. But yeah, I'll finish this. We'll get down to Vampire. We'll get you some footage, stick it in. And uh, then we'll see what else we can get done. So, here I am, I'm stood in the 75 minute queue for Vampire here. 
we are way outside the front gate. And it goes all the way down there too. So, yeah, we're going to be here a while. Uh, I can tell you a bit about Vampire if you want. It is an Arrow suspended coaster. It is the only Arrow suspended coaster in the United Kingdom. It is one of only five Arrow suspended coasters remaining in the world. So at this point, it's getting a bit of a rare one. So, uh, how long are SNS going to sell them parts, we wonder, isn't it? But yeah. We'll get a ride on this. I'll probably talk to you a bit more at some point in the queue. But yeah, we're going to be here a while. I don't pick good days to come to Chessington, do I? Last time I came here, I was in a very long queue for this. What? Just got off Vampire. Pretty decent ride on it there. Queue's about an hour. <laughs> so, do we, do we want the report of the day so far? We are at four o'clock. We have done Dragon's Fury and Vampire. I set off at half eight this morning. Got delayed on the M25 car park. Sprint now queuing to get in. Got two rides so far. So, not the most productive day that I've ever had. Right, we've got a couple of hours left. We've got a couple of coasters left. They're all in about an hour queue each. I don't know if they'll get them all. And I have a long drive back home, don't I? That's gonna be fun. Right, I'll head over this way try and figure out what I'm gonna do next. I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Here we go, no mess around, no walking around much. Straight in here, queue, rattlesnake. Next coaster. Because I've got to try, you know, i to try and be efficient today, otherwise I'm going to get nearly nothing done. But yeah, slow day. About 45 minutes on this one. Uh, might be able to get the other coaster done then and then maybe maybe get in the queue get another iron vampire at the end maybe depends I got like a four hour drive home in stay till if I go and get in the queue at the end of the day I'm, and I'm in the queue for an hour on vampire I'm not gonna be leaving here till seven hour like four hour drive home it's, it's gonna be eleven o'clock by the time I get back then in it not too sure. 
I'll have to have a think, I'll have to have a think. Do I want that last ride on Vampire? Or well, maybe something else, you know. Or do I want to get Eddie in off home? Because I've got a long way to go. I'll have a think about it. I'll get some shots, stick stuff in, you know, as I do. And I will catch up with you guys shortly. Okie dokie everybody, it is about 20 to 5, we are finally near the front of the queue to Rattlesnake, I've been getting a few shots that have been going along for you, I'll stick them in. So, pretty shortly we should be on there, then that leaves one coaster that we haven't been on here today, so we'll probably go and try and get that one and then see what time we got left after. So, I will catch up with you guys when I get off here. Yo, it is five to five. That is coaster number three of four done here. So we go on Rattlesnake, some Maura, Wild Mouse. It's got them smooth Maura brakes. Ba bang! Ow! Ba bang! Ow! Hey man, are you a dead mon? Yeah mon. It's what person at car behind says whenever you're on one of them, you know, them brakes. Boom! Right, we have an hour left. We have a coaster left. I'm pretty sure that coaster's got an hour queue. Well, are we going for that final coaster? There's only one left. It's not a great one, is it? Uh, probably, I mean, yeah, let's, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look, see what's going off. Uh, I'll check out some queues. Probably go and have a look at that and I will catch up with you guys shortly. Right, I had a quick look at that. It says 35 minutes here for Scorpion Express. So I've walked my way around here to it. I'm gonna try maybe get a little ride on this before we get to the end of day. And then I'm undecided on whether I go and get in a queue for something and be going home late. Or do I get a head start on people and, you know, start making me way home? I'm going to keep probably an eye on the app while I'm in this queue. You know, and if, if queue times start taking a big dive down, then... Uh, 
I might stay, see if I can get a ride on something. But I have not quite decided that yet, so I will catch up with you guys shortly. Now, it was about a quarter of twelve last night when we heard the burst of it, and I'm certain you did too. Yes, those bangs you heard turned out to be one almighty explosion at the Scorpion Valley gold mine. Now, I'm sure glad to say that all those hard work and down in the mines were having a hook down at the time, so everyone was able to see it. Now, that was what I'm going to say. Don't listen to this. I'm Quietest anything's looked all day walking down this bit, isn't it? Right, so got that ride on Scorpion Express, that is one ride on each coaster here. So at least we've accomplished that today. Now, I've hello. walked my way. All right, again, how are we doing? Do you want to say hello? Hello. Ratio. So, got that ride on Scorpion Express. That's one ride on every coaster here today, so at least we have accomplished that much. Right, it's about R5. Vampire here says it's got a 35 minute queue, but most of the queue estimations at this point seem to be a little on the high side. Like it said, 35 minutes back there, didn't it? For uh, Scorpion Express. Wasn't, it will walk on. So we got that one done quick. Now, yeah, this might be about half hour, so that'd be about closing time for the park at six. So, I mean, if it were quick, in theory, one could get back round into the queue and have another ride. But I do have a long drive home, so it, it, it is tempting to get out of here for six, so probably going to get this ride, catch up with you after this ride. Uh, we'll wrap up then, I think, and uh, probably be about home time. So... It's been an odd day here at Jessington, yeah, it's been busy. Uh, I was stuck on the M25 car park for some time this morning, so I was a little bit late. Uh, then hour queue to get in, so that's, you know, some more time off it. But yeah, it's not been bad, I mean, we've not had the most productive day ever, but we have got every coaster. And 
looks like a re-ride on Vampire, so we'll go for that. I will catch up with you guys, either down there in the queue at some point, if I think something else I want to say, or when we get off of Vampire. I'll see you shortly. Hey, mate, mate, are, are you okay, mate? Mate, you, you're looking a bit green there. Have you had too many rides off Vampire? To make, make you a bit green like? Not joking, is it? I don't know. Right here then. When I had that last ride on Vampire, actually that worked out pretty well. We're on like 20 past six now. So just got out and uh, I got lucky. My luck was suddenly in on that ride. I got the back row. And you want to get the back row because that's actually it's swoopier in the back row on Vampires. Like there's a couple of bits where you get a little bit of air if you're in the back row. And I did something that I don't often do. I got my ride photo here. Look, here we go. It's me looking super calm. Pretty much got the arms just crossed there, you know. But I thought, I'm looking stylish with my orange mask. Eye catching, nice blue t shirt, you know. It's a fairly funny looking photo, so I thought, yeah, I'll grab it. I can add that to me. Uh, little collection of photos i didn't have like a huge collection of photos next year i mean obviously i didn't this year we uh, where things have worked out next year i might get a digi pass because that's not bad for all year you know what i mean you get all your photos but um yeah I, I, that last ride has actually improved my day a little bit having got the back row so i've just got to now face up to that long drive home but you know what that means, guys? That means that it is... Vampire going past there. That means that it is, in fact... RTBM time. It's time for the return to base manoeuvre. So, I've been Charlie. This has been Go Fiend Parks. Parks? That, when I can talk, I've been Charlie. This has been Go Fiend Parks. And from today here at Chessington World of Adventures, that's all folks, I'll catch you again soon. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop me a like and a comment. And if you want to see more of my stuff, then you could check out my channel and subscribe and hit the bell.